What's up, Widow viewers? Today we're taking a look at a new piece of base gear called the Joyo Badass. Starting with the front of the Joyo Badass, we have an input, a normal and compressor switch, a Bluetooth on and off switch, a low, mid, and high knob, a compression knob, a gain and volume knob, and a power switch. On the back side of the Badass, we have an antenna for Bluetooth, a DC power input, a 4 ohm speaker output, a foot switch pedal in, phones out with cap sim, and a return and send effects loop. So now let's dive right in and see exactly what the Joyo Badass sounds like. Today I am equipped with my Legator 5 string with Fishman pickups. We're gonna use this thing both through a cab and DI and show you guys what they both sound like. One thing to note is you cannot use both at the same time. So first we're gonna do some cool DI tones and then we're gonna see what this bad boy sounds like through a cab. We know what all the knobs do. Let's go ahead and just turn it on and see what everything sounds like in the middle. Now I already have my volume set, so I'm gonna leave that the same, but you can see what everything else sounds like. Cool, so I'm gonna start moving some knobs and get it to my taste. As I can tell, it's already kind of scooped. It's already got a brilliant sound to it, especially with the Fishman's. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start turning knobs and you'll see the full range of this thing, so. Taking the lows down. Now let's put them up. Now I think with the Fishman's it's a little too much, so. Fills up right about there. Let's take a look at the mid knob. It's already got that like scooped S tone, you know, in fact, when you pull the mids out, it might be a little too scooped. And when you add them, it just adds a little more uh, mid boost presence. I'd imagine if you had like a P bass or something like that, you'd probably want to take away some of that growl. So I actually have a setting right here. We got a little bit more mid, so I guess you can add that in if you want. or take it out if that's what you prefer. But I like this setting and I actually like it in the middle because, you know, it's already got that scoop sound. We don't want to do too much to it. You know, I'm a big firm believer in only do enough of what needs to be done. Don't turn knobs unless you really, really need to. So. One thing I can tell you is I definitely want some highs, but let's go ahead and check the range on that. Cool, so that sounds a lot cooler. I really like the way that sounds. Now you can see right here we have the gain. I'm pretty much, I mean, this thing is already loaded to do what you want it to do. So you, you could see that I didn't even touch the gain at first because it wasn't something that phased me. Now I want to touch it because, you know, I just want to make sure we're dialed in. But I actually realized we have a little too much gain, especially when you brighten it up and uh, figure out where everything lies. You kind of have a better sense of where exactly that gain needs to lie. So 
This thing also has a compressor built in, which is pretty cool. And it doesn't exactly boost, but what it does is it, it, it tightens those dynamics. So as you're tightening those dynamics, if you need to add a little more gain, which is usually the case, you can do so. So, so by default, I have the compressor on and it's in the middle and we've kind of been keeping things a bit tight as we're dialing in tone. You can see the light flash as it's compressing and the brighter it gets, the more it's clamping onto that light. So we can use the pedal to turn it on and off. Now we just have it on, but I'm gonna go and start turning the knob and show you the range of the compressor. So it just kind of controls it a little bit more. You can tell more when I start playing light. It, it fills out some more, especially when you make up that gain. But that might be a little too squash, so I'm gonna back it up a bit. You could see right there when I let it all go, all that gain just kind of rushes in, which is kind of what you don't want. You wanna like stabilize the dynamics a little bit more, so it's a good thing to just basically Turn it up until everything evens out a bit more. Cool, so that sounds pretty good. I actually like the way that sounds. Um, me personally, I like to keep the compressor on the whole time. Having the option in a pedal is pretty sweet, but just having it in there in general is just like really great for me. So I really like that. That's a cool tone. Cool. So now let's move on to the bass cab. What does it sound like through a cab? What does it sound like when it's actually pushing power through it? Remember, we got a little preamp tube in there. So although that's where a lot of our tone is coming up, um, I want to see how that sounds being translated through a cab. So I'm going to plug my DI real quick. Now we got some cab action going. Now, I really like that. Let's, let's just tweak the knobs a little bit. Control those dynamics. I don't know if it's just like the combination of this heart key cab or whatever, but the tweeter really pushes um, some nice highs through it. So I'm just gonna milk the fact that it's got that and I really like that high clarity, if you will, but still having that low end chunk and you can tell 
you know, even when I go low or high, it's, it's just still cutting through. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much the Joyo for you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a live tune for my band, Immortal Guardian. I think that song complements this tone very well. You've heard what it sounds like with a DI out and you've heard what it sounds like through a cab, but now let's check it in a mix. How exactly does this thing translate? Let's find out.
conclusion, the Joyo Badass Base Amp is a pretty neat toy if you don't want to break the bank. Though, I will admit, I don't think this is a replacement for your practice rig, you know, with a band or something like that, or even your live rig. But I think it's a really cool tool to keep inside your house. You know, sometimes you don't want to make wake up your neighbors. Um, it does get, you know, decently loud, but I wouldn't say, I would say once you start getting a full band in the mix, it might drown it out. So that kind of makes it perfect for at home bedroom use, especially with the headphones out or plug it into your cab, keep it on a low jam volume. It's really good at that. It's really handy. It's really small. It's portable. It's got Bluetooth. It's got a compressor pedal, so you can bypass that on and off. All in all, it's a really cool piece of gear. Grab yourself one this season if you're a bass player, and I think you'll enjoy it just as much as I did. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button, and we will catch you all next time.